It's such an honor to present our next inductee. You know, I've always felt that moments like these are just rich with nostalgia and dripping with poignancy. And, and you can't help but take an amazing occasion like this and realize what it took to get here today for the Hall of Famers. I first met Lanny over 20 years ago in the broadcast tower at Greensboro's 15th hole. I was kind of new there at CBS at the time. And Lanny had hit a poor third shot into the par five. And minutes later, I had this odd, strange sensation. I felt the scaffolding beginning to quake. And much to my astonishment, I turned around and saw that Lanny, in full spikes and in the middle of competition, had climbed the 15 steps to my little office. Excited that he would go out of his way in the middle of competition to come over and welcome me to the PGA Tour, I took off my headset only to hear Lanny say, you tell Cherkinian, the next time one of your audio guys moves in the middle of my backswing, he's going to have a sand wedge buried in his <clears throat> It's kind of a strange introduction, I felt, but one that typified Lanny. I wouldn't be here tonight without my brother Bobby. You know, um, from day one, we've played more rounds of golf than most people ever experienced in a lifetime. I mean, we didn't always get along. We fall on the course, and, and I usually won the fights until he got bigger than me. <laughs> then when he quit fighting, I was at least smarter there. But he pushed me at every turn. Uh, he's a wonderful player in his own right. We've always been each other's biggest fans. And I know that I would not be here without him. Thanks, Bobby. <laughs> to join this World Golf Hall of Fame, I'm having a chance to be a part of something that my heroes are in. And as a kid growing up in Richmond, Bobby and I would hunt golf balls in the golf course to have balls to play with. And, uh, and we could always find a ball that had Arnold's name on it or Sam Snead's name on it. And we're, you know, they were our heroes. I go back to my very first Masters, 1970. I stayed in the Crow's Nest with Tom Watson, Hall of Famer, great friend. And that was an experience in itself. I got to play my very first round at the Masters with Jackie Burke, another hero. I got to play my second round in the Masters that year with Gene Sarazen, another hero, Hall of Famer. I've played in the Masters with Gene Sarazen. 1972, I played in the U.S. Open the first two days. Julius Boris, Jack Nicklaus, who went on to win that week. 1973, I played in the U.S. Open with Ben Crenshaw, then an amateur, and Sam Snead. People I've gotten to play with, I've gotten to play with my heroes. Where can you do that other than golf? I mean, golf. You know, we just saw today how, you know, the Champions Tour, the people are still playing and competing, and, and I got to play with my heroes growing up. And I don't think it's anything I'll ever, you know, cherish more in my life than being able to be with my heroes and being so special. You know, they're such good friends, good people, and you learn from them and get to share your life with them is something I will treasure my entire life. And to be part of a Hall of Fame with these men in it, uh, I'm just honored beyond belief. It's, it's something I I'd never expected. I never started off playing golf to be in a Hall of Fame. I started off playing golf because I loved it. I wanted to compete. I wanted to win. And I was always out there doing something that I really, really enjoyed. And to be in a World Golf Hall of Fame with my heroes is just something that will, uh, I'll, I'll cherish for the rest of my life.